Alright folks, welcome to the pilot house. This is where we steer the ship. So we do have our helm over here, where your helmsman would be steering the ship. It is original to 1943, one that later was built. Now the helmsman, you can rely on a few things to steer the ship. If you look through his portholes here, you can see where he's going, but you cannot see a whole lot. Now in bad weather, or when the ship is at general quarters, you will also open the pot the, the windows with the steel plates. You don't want the glass breaking and going in your face. So it's almost like driving your car with a blindfold on. Except his car weighs 2,000 tons. Now, he will be trained on the compasses, so he does have his two compasses here for navigation. But that's not gonna tell him there's a ship, you know, 50 yards off his port side, watch out. Directly above us is the flying bridge. Wide open, no protection. That's where most of your officers would be. Um, typically the uh, officer on the deck or the captain of the ship, Marcel Blanc. Uh, so they can see where we're going and they can communicate to the husband through the voice tube. A few other items down here, we do have our chronometer. This tells you the degree that your ship is listing from side to side. Very important to keep track of, especially in bad weather. If it goes too far to one side, you could be in danger of capsizing your ship. We do have our engine order telegraph. This will indirectly control the speed of your ship. Once you have it set, you send a signal down to the engine room, a few decks below. The engineer is going to hear some bells going off, and there's a similar device down there. Check to see how fast or slow we want to go, and then adjust our speed. But it might actually be a couple minutes until you actually see a ship going faster. Two 50 caliber machine guns over on the starboard side. Now the Slater was not initially outfitted with these guns. When she was sent to the Pacific, late 44 and into 1945, the Japanese were using kamikaze planes. They also were utilizing uh, suicide boats. If those boats got too close to our ship, our guns have difficulty engaging them directly over the side. So Marcel Blanc, the captain, did request from the Navy these 250s. Uh, that request was denied. So he went out, he found some probably some Marines or some Army folks. They had him sitting around, and Marcel had a few crates of liquor on board the ship. They did a little swap, Marcel got his guns, and then the Marines got their liquor. 